like you, like you say, worst conditions we've probably played in for a long time. No excuses. Again, though, it's the same for both teams. Um, I thought the first 15, 20 minutes we had them penned where we wanted to do. And then we didn't do the other part of it was when we had them penned back, we didn't start to play so we could get shots off from distance with the wind. Uh, with the uh, with the wet surface, I don't think we had a shot of any note first half, which is obviously really disappointing. Um, but we do really well for 20 minutes and then a lapse in concentration uh, and they go through one-on-one -on -one and they score a goal against the run of play. Um, it's just cost us because I come in at half time and, and, and I'm asking, it, you know, we don't play offside, but we've, for some reason we've played offside, they beat the trap and we're 1-0 down. Um, no one knows why they've done it, it's just another mistake that we keep making. But the reason it frustrates me so much is that's the mistake that's just cost us getting a point away at Sleaford that I'd have taken all night before kickoff. Because at the end of the day, they're winning games. Um, and they've won another one tonight through, yet again, another mistake of our own. Because apart from that, they didn't really cause us any huge problems. Um, and I thought we was in the game, more so first half. But second half, you know, we could have we could have still nicked something towards the end, and unfortunately, we just don't have the rubber of the green at the minute where where one goes in off our backsides, and and we do get the point or, or the three points. So that's where we're at at the minute. Um, keep plugging away, keep um, keep doing the right things, um, and keep trying to uh, turn the corner. I've always been told in football, if you keep doing the right things, the worm will turn. It's just a slow turning one at the minute.